I kind of have a fun job, and what I do for a living is I make mermaid tails. Started out many years ago, I, I used to do special effects makeup and creature design, and then I did a tail for a friend, and then that blossomed into what I do now, which is I work full time creating these life size mermaid silicone tails and tops and different appliances. What these final tails are usually used for is a tank work or performance. It really is just so that it can be a hyper-realistic mermaid sitting in front of you. And sometimes that means the movie, sometimes that means it's for a children's party. A lot of times it's just for these people who, who like me, they just have always wanted their dreams to be real. They've wanted those little fairies to be flying around and to look into the water and see the mermaid look back. These tales allow people to do that. It allows them to look down at themselves and to see what they know is really there and not just the facade of humanity that we carry around with us all the time. Some days I paint, some days I'm sculpting, some days I'm making molds. Every single day I seem to do client consultation, which is wonderful. Uh, I love that. That's one of my parts that I get sucked into a lot is just talking about the tales and talking about the designing and, and what we're gonna do to make them. Fully customs, the ones that I do most of the time, those ones can be eight plus thousand dollars simply because there's just so much customization that we can do. Production times for the tails vary quite a bit. The simplest of tails take a few weeks to make and the more complicated ones can take months. It's interesting, some little things will get super, super caught up and stuck and other things will just move really quickly and easily. I think it all kind of comes down to how well I'm vibing with the design. I feel like I'm always working, but it's weird because I can go weeks and then blink and go, oh my goodness, I haven't gotten anything done. But it's just because I've been really enjoying what I've been working on. Because I realized that with FX, uh, practical effects, like anything can be real. Anything you dream up and any, any nightmare or dream anything, it can be real and walk around. You just have to build it and make it. I tend to really like sharp angles and dark colors and dark designs and like my background is in, is in special effects makeup and creatures and so I want monsters and I want mermaids that'll drag you into the water and drown you. And most of my clientele are not like that. And how I learned to make these things, it was, it was a lot of trial and error. I started in special effects makeup and creature design and so I did prosthetic works and I would do body casting, molding, casting sculpting prosthetics and that process. And so when I when I started making mermaid tails, I really approached it from that mental realm. With every tail, I've, I've improved upon my techniques and I've grown and I've grown and I've grown. And I think that's kind of the big thing is just never be the smartest person in the room. Always make sure that you're, you're learning from everyone around you. And that's really what I've tried to do. If you have a chance, try one. It's an interesting experience. And especially if you can see one or you can find a mermaid, uh, you'd be surprised how many there are. They're all over the place. A lot of aquariums have them, a lot of events. So yeah, keep your eye out. Maybe you'll see something that I've made.